Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing my drugstore makeup starter kit. So maybe if you are just getting into makeup and you're looking for what is the best of the best at the drugstore, I am here to help you out. So let's just get into it. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all kinds of makeup and what is new. I would say primarily I do review high-end and luxury products. However, I still do love my drugstore products. I still am always trying some drugstore products on the side. So I wanted to share with you the products that I really feel like competes with my high-end and luxury products. Also really exciting is that today's video is in a collaboration with my friend Leora here on YouTube. Her channel name is Leora. Laura's Makeup Loves 52 and I'm obsessed with her. I think she is so bubbly, so sweet, and she is the TJ Maxx queen. Now, I love TJ Maxx and she does, I feel like, multiple videos a week on TJ Maxx and the new makeup that is in there. And her TJ Maxx's are much better than mine. I feel like she gets such amazing stock. But anyways, she not only covers TJ Maxx, she covers a lot of high-end and drugstore products. And her content is just really fun and I think you guys will enjoy her. She has such a lively energy to her that just makes me feel happy when I watch her. her her and I have been planning this collab for a while. Our schedules never lined up. So I'm really excited that we finally found the time to do it. So make sure you guys go subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. Make sure you check it out. And of course, what's really awesome is you can see what her drugstore picks are as well. So you get two videos telling you what the best of the best from the drugstore are. All right, now let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with primers. I tried to keep it to only one or two in each category so that I could give you options while still keeping it at a very curated and minimal list. The first one is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I feel like this is so underrated. I never hear anybody really talking about it, but it reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Hangover Primer mixed with the Smashbox Primer. I feel like if those two had a baby, it would be this. This is such a bomb primer you guys if you have dry skin especially this time in the winter this feels lightweight but it really does moisturize the skin very well so if you're looking for a great hydrating primer for the winter time I highly recommend this I love this a lot more than a lot of my other high-end products so definitely recommend checking this guy out the next one is a very very popular one this is the elf poreless putty primer but it really is amazing honestly I prefer this to its high end counterpart which is the Tatcha silk canvas I think that this is amazing I feel like it really moisturizes my dry skin now it's not as hydrating as the NYX but it is a hydrating primer but it really does smooth the face so I will apply this to the center of my face where I notice I have a little bit more pronounced pores and I do feel like this does help with my pores now you can only do so much with a product when it comes to your pores but this does a great job I definitely think it's one of the best from the drugstore that I've ever tried so if you have drier, more porous skin, I highly recommend this one and it's very, very affordable. I have two foundations to share with you guys. One is a little bit more natural and glowy and then the other one is if you want something more matte and heavy duty. So my all-time favorite drugstore foundation is from L'Oreal. This is, again, a very popular one, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I wear the shade 430. This is so much better than a lot of my other high-end foundations. So this looks like skin. It makes your skin look glowy and fresh and it has that skin like finish It gives you a more medium coverage You can build it up a little bit higher, but I feel like it doesn't look heavy on the skin It's very comfortable and it just gives you a very fresh appearance truly It is an amazing foundation when this guy came out It truly changed the game for drugstore foundations because this is very very hard to compete with So if you are a beginner with makeup, I highly recommend you you try this foundation out. It's so easy to apply and it wears really well and it looks very natural. Now my more heavy coverage matte foundation has to be the Catrice Liquid Coverage. I have mine in the shade Sand Beige but I think this is a little bit too light for me but regardless it's an incredible foundation if you love coverage. I actually really like mixing this with more of a dewy foundation just to kind of tame it down a little bit but when I do want that full coverage look from a drugstore this is 
the one that I go to. Now, it's not natural. I said the L'Oreal is very skin-like. This is not skin-like. Like, you can see that you are wearing makeup because your skin is just so perfected, but I feel like there's a time and a place for a full coverage foundation, and Catrice really covers that when it comes to drugstore. It is an amazing foundation. I highly recommend, especially if you have more oily skin. I think you will like this. For a beginner, I would say this isn't the easiest to apply. Definitely wet your sponge or maybe put an oil on your skin before you apply this, but it's so good and it looks perfect on your skin. Oops. All right, now concealer. This is my number one favorite drugstore concealer. I feel like a drugstore definitely has some really nice concealers, but the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This reminds me a lot of the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. They have a very similar consistency as far as how liquidy it is, how easily it spreads on the skin, and of course the coverage as well. I would say this is pretty much a dupe for it. I have mine in the shade Light Natural. I love this. I've heard mixed reviews about this concealer and I don't know how. I feel like this is the most amazing concealer I've ever tried from the drugstore. The coverage is perfect. It's more of a medium to full. It's not quite full. It looks natural under the eyes, but it still covers up what you need to cover it up. It smooths out under the eyes so easily and when you set it, you're good to go. I don't find it to be overly creasy. So for me, this is one of my all-time favorite concealers and it's pretty affordable. I think Milani did a fabulous job with this formula and I haven't come across a concealer that that reaches up to this from the drugstore. Powder, and now this is my all time, all time favorite setting powder. Luxury, high end, drugstore, this is the best. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have two shades. I use fair light on my under eyes and light all over my face. I feel like this fills my pores. It gives the most soft focus look to the skin, and this is one of the powders that I really feel comfortable baking with, where it's not gonna make your under eyes look crepey or powdery. I just feel like the soft finish that it gives to the skin looks so perfected and natural at the same time. I just, I haven't come across a powder that I like better than this. It's truly the best. So many people love this and for a good reason, but it's my favorite under eye setting powder. It really makes your face look so smooth and it's only a few bucks. I need to get some fresh ones, but I use these all the time. It's my favorite. Bronzers. Now this is a very popular bronzer, so this is pretty predictable, but I really do love the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's just the perfect tone. It's not too warm, but it's not too cool. It's the perfect neutral tone. Own, and I just think it applies so smooth to the skin. It doesn't apply too much product. It's not too pigmented, but it is easy to build up as well. It blends into the skin so seamlessly, so it's easy to use. If you're a makeup beginner, it smells delightful. It just looks great all over the skin. It's a classically amazing bronzer. I think it just hits all the marks that it needs to. Now, blush. I have a lot of blushes that I love from the drugstore, but this is my all-time favorite blush from the drugstore. This is from Almay. This is like the only thing I own from Almay, but this is the Almay Healthy Hue Blush. I just love this shade in particular. This is nearly nude. Now they have a few other colors in this formula, honestly. As much as I wanna buy those other colors, this is still the only one that I have because it's just so perfect. It's a gorgeous nude shade. It gives a natural sheen to the cheek while not looking overly shimmerly, shimmerly? While not looking overly shimmery. It smooths over the skin, blends out so easily. Not overly pigmented again, but also applies just enough color. You can build it up and it's impossible for this blush to apply patchy because it's just so silky. It, apl it applies like silk onto the cheek. It's incredible. I've been talking about this blush for a long, long time. It's one of my all time favorites. Highly, highly recommend. So let's move on to highlighters. I have two different formulas, one a little bit more blingy, one a little bit more natural. Both of these, again, very popular, but for a reason. I really like for a blingy highlight, the Maybelline Master Chrome. I have the shade, this is the lightest shade, 250. This is the one that I'm wearing and I tried to use a really light hand because I didn't want it too, too blingy and shiny, but I really love this shade, but it is a bit too white for me. If you're looking for something a little bit more golden, molten gold is really nice, or this one's probably my favorite though of all of these. This is the molten rose gold. So this one's a little bit more pinky. I really like a pink highlight, but if you're looking for something blingy, these are a very great 
reliable formula. They're going to give you a crazy glow. They're easy to blend into the skin as well. Now, if you want something more natural, I think Miss Kathleen Lights put us all onto this years ago. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, and it looks so boring in the pan, but I promise you when you get it on the cheeks, it's a glow from within. You can build it up if you do want a little bit more of a glow, and it emphasizes zero texture. That's one of the most amazing things about this product is how little texture it emphasizes. It truly is a gorgeous highlighter, and I think now people are starting to realize that more natural highlighters are a bit more flattering on this skin, and this is perfect, and it's super cheap. It's like three bucks. I really love this. Let's move on to the eyes, and we're going to start off with eyebrows. I have two eyebrow pencils that have rocked my world with their amazing price. So one is a little bit thicker, and that one would be the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I use the shade Neutral Brown. So I used to not be into thick brow pencils. I'm like, the skinnier, the better. But I really love the color of this and how much color it deposits. It, <laughs> I dropped it. It's the perfect pigmentation. It feels a little bit cheap, but it's like three bucks. You can't go wrong with it. And I'm going to forever have this very affordable brow pencil in my collection. When I travel or I stay elsewhere, I like to bring more of my affordable products because if something happens, it's not that big of a deal. This is what I bring. I just think it's the perfect color. Again, not too pigmented and it blends out, but it still is a little bit waxy and powdery so that it will stay put. So this one's a really good one. Or if you're looking for something a little bit more thin, you can't go wrong with the ColourPop Brow Boss. Now there isn't really anything crazy to say about this. I just think it works really good and it's like five or six dollars and it's very, very thin, very comparable to the ABH or the Benefit thin brow pencil. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more affordable, this is a great way to go. I still prefer my Benefit and ABH to this one, but for the price difference, there really isn't that much of a difference. Alrighty, so let's move on to eyeshadow palettes. I have four in particular that I'm sharing with you. And while I do love drugstore products, I will say I am a bit of a snob when it comes to drugstore eyeshadows. For the most part, I really don't like drugstore eyeshadows. There's a couple brands that I did want to share with you guys. You know, if you are just starting out in makeup, this is what I do recommend. So we'll start off with the two that I am wearing right now. And these are the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. And a lot of people have talked about them, but they really are amazing for the price. Now, they have a whole range of colors and I haven't played with all of the colors, but I will say from my experience, it seems like the colorful ones aren't very good. I don't really like them, but I still have a few more that I do need to play with, but the two that have not let me down are the neutral ones. So I'm wearing a little bit of both. I have on truffles. I only use this shade as my crease color, but by the way, the black in here incredible. The best drugs are black I've ever tried. And then I also have mostly cream and sugar everywhere like this golden shade is so creamy and pigmented. That's the shade all over my lid. I have this shade as the inner corner. I used all four shades of cream and sugar on my eyelid today, but you know, these aren't the best eyeshadows that I've ever used, but these guys are $3 each, and I think for $3, these are great for somebody who is just starting out in makeup. You can't go wrong with, oops, you can't go wrong with $3, and the quality of these are worth way more than $3. So like I said, recommend more so of the neutral tones because the colors I haven't had the best experiences with, but really awesome. Now, the other two palettes that I love are from BH Cosmetics. I think BH has a lot of other great palettes to offer. It's just that they do come out with quite a lot and I'm trying not to drown in new palettes, but I want their blueberry muffin palettes. I want their sugar, the, the, the ice cream palettes, but I've been content with these two so far. So these are two of my current favorite BH palettes that are still available. I have a few other older ones that were limited edition that are amazing. These are the two that you can still pick up that are great, but again, and they have other new ones that are supposed to be amazing as well. This guy currently, I believe, is like $8 on the BH website right now. This is Summer in Saint Tropez. So if you're into more colors, this is one of the best drugstore eyeshadows I've ever tried. Now, I don't know if BH is necessarily a drugstore brand, but it's at that price point. So I'm going to consider it to be because their eyeshadows are so good. They have a bomb formula. Now, as far as I'm aware, I think the formulas can be a little bit hit or miss, but for the most part, 
recently it seems that they've really killed the game. So I would recommend that you dig into the newer palettes because their formula has, seems to have improved. This guy nobody really talked about, but I created some bomb looks with this palette. <laughs> I'm gonna toot my own horn. Created gorgeous looks with this palette. The shimmers in here are incredible. The mattes get the job done. There's like one or two shades in here that maybe aren't perfect, but for eight bucks, I mean, these are a comparable formula to high end for sure, without a doubt. And then another fun one that I have is the Avocado Toast. This is a pretty new palette. It is on sale right now, but it's not $8. This one is more of a unique color story. This is green. I don't have another palette that has a color story quite like this, and I feel like for the most part, the BH color stories are very unique as well. So not only is the packaging cute and the color story is different, but the quality is also really, really great. So this had a counterpart. I think it was the Mimosas. That one is nice too, but I don't like that one as much as I love these two. So I recommend Avocado Toast if you're into these crazy green tones. Again, the quality in here, shocking how good they are. Those are the two kind of products I recommend looking into as far as eyeshadows, but I do think if you're gonna invest in something from the drugstore, it does need to be eyeshadows because I'm a snob. All right, let's move on to eyeliners. Now I only have one black liquid liner that I truly love from the drugstore as far as I can remember. And this is a new product. This is from Maybelline. This is the Master Precise All Day Matte Liner. It is a felt tip if you are not into felt tip. I like felt tip liners. I'm not really picky about the tip of my liners, but I feel like as of now, from what I've tried, this is the most matte and black liquid liner that I've tried from the drugstore. My only tip with this one is that you don't layer too much, don't go back and forth because it can feel a little bit tight and crusty if you apply too much of this, but luckily it is so matte, it is so black that you really don't need to layer too much anyways you get that full opacity right away so i feel like this stays put it's so black it's easy to control you get the perfect amount of product out at once this is a newer product and i've been loving it i think it's amazing the best liquid liner i've tried from the drugstore i like it better than the nyx one that's really popular than the elf one that's really popular this one beats that humble opinion. Um, and then eyeliners, okay, I, again, I wasn't sure if ColourPop was a drugstore company, but for the sake of these eyeliners, they're gonna be today. Their cream gel eyeliners are amazing. There is not a better pencil liner than these cream gel liners at an affordable price. So I'm gonna talk about ColourPop even if they're not a drugstore product, but these are like six bucks each. And I love using cream gel liners that are colorful in my waterline to really go with a colorful look. Right now I am wearing Honey Dude, which is a skin tone and it's okay. But where ColourPop stands out is with the colored ones. You'd be surprised at, if you're into colorful makeup, how much a colorful liner really changes up the look. They're cheap, they have so many colors. I did just order the color bundle of eyeliners that just came out for the holidays from ColourPop because it was such a bomb deal. Definitely get them in sets. But even if you're not as adventurous with your makeup, I recommend going for some colorful liners from ColourPop because they changed the game for me. I love colored eyeliners in my waterline. Now, I'm not gonna say these are the longest lasting. They're really, really not but I love the colors that they have and they really apply a lot of color to the waterline as well and they change up a look. So I love these. I think they're really, really great. Now, mascara, I love the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I don't recommend this one with this color. They have a mascara that's more blue-greeny. That's the one you wanna go for. That one's better. I just don't have it right now because I'm trying to work through my mascaras. That's the one I recommend, <laughs> not this one, but that is my all-time favorite mascara. It's the best one I've ever used. It lengthens, it volumizes. My lashes look so good with that mascara. I really miss having it in my collection. So that's my favorite one from the drugstore. Now let's move on two falsies. I've talked about these for months. These are the Ardell Naked Lashes. Make sure you get the ones in this like nude pink packaging. These are natural, but they look like lash extensions. So these aren't my go-to glam lashes by any means, but if you like the look of natural lashes, but you want to have that look of like lash extensions, these do it. I have currently in my rotation two styles. They have more. I believe they actually just came out with more styles, so I'm excited to try those. Right now I have 
421s on and you can see they're super duper natural and they're very very thin so they're easy to apply to the lash line as well and they look wispy and again that lash extension look I love it another style is 424 this one's a little bit more layered but they all look great on the eyes my absolute favorite everyday lashes have been these naked lashes okay so let's get going with the lip products again something about the color pop liners like these pencil liners they kill it can you tell that i love color pop lippy pencils the best affordable lip pencils now i also like nyx i think nyx has a nice formula but these if you like creamy lip liners these are the ones that you're going to want to go for i'm sharing with you my top three most used colors but again i recommend just buying a set off of colourpop.com because you'll reach for them all the time they're very affordable so i use little one bff and then for something a little bit more pinky mauvey i'll use oh snap so bff's the lightest nude that i have and then little one is going to be kind of in between i'm currently wearing little one as my lip liner right now so these are the three personally for an everyday nude lip that i recommend the most but i just think these are a fabulous formula because they're not very drying they're not waxy at all they're that creamy formula that feels similar to charlotte tilbury and pat mcgrath they're not quite as long lasting as the those brands but they're six dollars so I'm not gonna complain and they certainly do the job and I have so many colors so I use them all the time let's move on to liquid lipsticks now I haven't had the best luck with liquid lipsticks from the drugstore but ever since masks became a thing these Maybelline Superstay inks are perfect for mask wearing. These don't budge. They're a little bit uncomfortable and you don't want to reapply them because then they might get a little bit crusty, but as far as just putting them on the lips, they do not move after that first application and they are the best solution to mask wearing. Now, I mostly have the ones from their coffee collection. My most used to are Caramel Collector, which is a little bit more warm, really great for the fall. It's a little bit more on the deep side. And this is a cooler toned color. This is Chai Genius. Highly recommend this one. This one is my current favorite shade. Relatively comfortable on the lips, but most importantly, they don't move. Now, the absolute best lipstick formula from the drugstore that I've tried, and this I would say their formula is great, but almost I like their colors the most are Flower Beauty lipsticks. I talk about this all the time, so I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I do bridal makeup. I haven't done that much recently, but I did bridal makeup and they have the perfect everyday bridal colors and the formula feels quite luxurious. Now the packaging, you can tell it is plastic, but it looks so expensive, you guys. I wonder if they are selling these at CVS right now. I believe, which one am I wearing? I'm wearing Spice Petals. So this one's gonna be a great everyday color. Let me swatch a few others. We have Bare Pout. Now this one's gonna be your center of the lip color because that one is really, really bright, but it is gorgeous. Peachy Nude is stunning. You're gonna love Naked Blush as an everyday color. And then Cinnamon Crush is one of the deeper ones that I have. I have a few other colors currently right now in my makeup collection, but you could see what a wearable range that they have and the lipsticks themselves are quite creamy you know they're not creamy like a charlotte tilbury kissing formula but they're still very creamy and for the price that you pay i believe they're around eight dollars really great and i do recommend picking up a few of them from the website because the colors are truly great everyday colors to just throw in your purse i find these a lot in my purse is hiding because you can just throw them in and they're great colors okay so let's move on two lip glosses i have two different formulas for you now the first one is from morphe i know some of you guys are like really morgan morphe <laughs> their lipsticks hear me out you guys first of all their lip glosses are made in the usa so that is really awesome a drugstore product made in the usa is not quite common and they have an amazing reliable formula i'm currently wearing boho and they just get the job done you know they're a little bit sticky so they're gonna last but they're not slidey like 
uh, actually they're not really sticky at all if I'm being honest they last relatively well you know they're not the shiniest lip glosses but they have great colors they're very affordable and there's nothing wrong I can say with these lip glosses and then the other one these are my purse lip glosses I've had these for years they just have the most amazing range of colors they're easy to throw on these are the NYX butter glosses here so I have praline fortune cookie is one of the best nude lipstick or lip glosses excuse me and then tiramisu is kind of the everyday lip gloss color for me I'll layer this one on top so these do have just enough pigmentation so they're not completely clear so that means you should purchase more than one color you know I don't like lip glosses that are too sheer because then there's no point in buying other colors these are perfect because they give you just enough color to justify buying more than one color but they also aren't fully pigmented to where it's like too much you know they're perfect all right so let's move on to the final product we have a finishing spray and it's pixie drugstore i'm gonna consider it because they sell it at target this is the pixie glow mist the best now if you have oily skin and you don't like a glowy mist don't buy this it's not very good you will not like it but if you're like me dry skin i have never had a glowier mist like a lot of times I feel like with setting sprays they don't actually like make your face glowy this is one that genuinely does like you can easily apply too much of this and then be way too glowy but I feel like this sets the makeup I don't it doesn't make it last longer but it really gives that glowy look to the skin so I really like it I hate the smell of this it smells like fish to me I don't know the actual finish on the skin is stunning for a glowy look all right you guys that is all I have for today's video those are all of my drugstore recommendations for a drugstore starter kit i'm really excited to see what leora's favorites are i'm always looking for new drugstore products to share with you guys so if there's anything that's amazing that i need to try be sure to comment down below because i'm due for a drugstore haul and tutorial very very soon i am on the lookout for sure so make sure you guys go check out leora's video as well it will be linked in the description box if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already i would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one